Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created the utility for JWT and we created JWT request filter. In today's video, we will work on the login API. So let's get started. Before creating the login API, let's create user details service implementation first to do that you can right click here and we need to create a new package the package name should be services and in this package create a new package that should be jwt And in this JWT package, let's create a Java class with the name of user details service implementation. After creating the class, let's annotate this as service. And let's implement user detail service. After the implementation, it will ask to implement the methods. So let's go and click on implement methods. And we need to implement this load user by username. So let's click on OK. After this, uh, let's right click and create a new package. And the package name should be repository. In this package, let's create our user repository class. So we'll name this as user repository and this should be an interface. Let's annotate this as at the rate repository. And let's extend this as JPA repository. And here let's mention our user class and let's mention long because the primary key data type is long for the user. Let's import this. After creating the user repository, now let's go back to our user detail service and create the object for user repository. So we'll use at the rate auto wired and we'll write private user repository. Let's import this class. After this, in load user by username method, let's create an optional user. And we can name this as optional user is equal to user repository dot find first by email. and we'll pass the username in the pattern. Let's import this user class. Now we need to check our optional user. If that is empty, then we need to return a user not found exception. Otherwise, we will return a new user. So let's write here if condition. And in this if condition, let's use optional user dot is empty and in this case throw new user name not found exception and in the message we can write username not found and after the message let's pass here null and if the user is not empty then we will return new user of type user details and here we will pass the email and password of the user so we will use optional user dot get dot get email comma optional user dot get dot get password and at the end we will pass a new array list 
that's it for this load user by username method now let's go in user repository and write this find first by email method so here we will return optional user and the query should be find first by email and then we will pass a string email now let's go back in the JWT request filter and let's import this class now to create the login API first of all we need to create the authentication request DTO so we'll right click here and we will create a new package and the package should be DTO and in this package we will create a new Java class and we will name that as authentication request let's annotate this class as data so we can get getters and setters and in this class we need two properties the first one is private string username and the second one is password after this authentication request dto let's right click here and let's create a new package with the name of controllers and in this package let's create a class with the name of auth controller let's annotate this controller as a rest controller and at the rate required arguments constructor in this controller we need the authentication manager so let's go and create the object for that we need our user details service as well and we need our user repository and JWT util as well so let's import these classes for the login API call let's create a method that should be public void and let's name this method as create authentication token after this uh, let's use at the rate post mapping and the URL for this method should be authenticate after this uh, let's mention the request body and we'll use authentication request and for the response we will return HTTP servlet response in this method uh, let's write a try catch block and in the try block we will call authentication manager dot authenticate and in this authenticate method we will pass new user password authentication token and in this token let's set the username and password so we'll use authentication request dot get username and authentication request dot get password after this uh, let's write a catch block and this catch block will catch the bad credentials exception which is the wrong email or wrong password and in this catch block we will throw new bad credentials exception and for the message let's write incorrect username or password after uh, this check we know that our users username and password is correct and now we can get the user details so we'll create a variable here for user detail and we will call our user details service dot load by username method and we will pass here our username after this let's create an optional user and let's call the user repository dot find first by email and let's get the 
email from user details so we'll use user details dot get username let's import this user here now as we have our user details so we can call our jwt util to generate the token so we'll create a variable here final string let's name is as jwt and let's call our jwt util dot generate token and uh, let's get the email from user details after this uh, let's check our optional user if it is present and if the user is present there then we can add the details in our response so we will use response dot get writer dot write method and in this write method let's create a new json object and after this uh, let's call the put method and in this put method let's give the key as user id and let's get this user id from optional user dot get dot get id after the user id we need to set the role so we'll use again put and we'll write the key as role and we can get this role from optional user dot get dot get role and then at the end let's convert this to string by using to string now to import this json object let's go to our pom file and add one dependency and the artifact id for this is android json let's refresh our maven let's go back to our auth controller and let's import this class and this get writer method can throw io exception let's write the method signature and let's write the method signature for json exception as well and at the end of the response let's add the header and let's pass our header string and our token prefix and the jwt token our uh, token prefix is bearer so let's mention this here and our auth header string is authorization that's it uh, for this video in the next video we will create the sign up api and we will uh, test the functionality for both login and sign up